Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about expression vector. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment, and share my video. So in our last lecture, we have discussed about cloning vector, and we have seen that cloning vectors are used to store foreign DNA and provide a backbone. for dna inserts to be propagated in bacteria however cloning vectors can't allow for the translation and transcription of genes into functional proteins for that we use expression vector let's talk about it so what is an expression vector an expression vector is a dna molecule that is used to express genes in a cell okay so it has the ability to self replicate just like the cloning vector and it also produces mrnas and proteins inside the host cell let's talk about its features so just like the cloning vector it also has ori mcs and selectable marker a uh, origin of replication or ori is used to self replicate inside the host cell multiple cloning site or mcs is used to insert the target dna a selectable marker which is generally an antibiotic resistance gene is used to facilitate the screening of transformants uh, in my last video i have already explained about selectable marker here i am not going to repeat the same here i am more focused about the unique features of expression vector unlike cloning vector an expression vector has a promoter a transcription initiation site transcription stop site ribosome binding site start codon stop codon and tag so basically a promoter is used to control the transcription of gene a transcription initiation site is used to begin transcription a transcription stop site is used to mark the end of transcription a ribosome binding site or shine dalgarno sequence is used to help initiate protein synthesis and the start codon and stop codon they initiate and terminate translation uh so here we have the promoter here is the uh, transcription start site transcription stop site and here we have the tag so the last thing is this tag and uh, so actually after expression of the gene product the purification of the protein is required but since the vector is introduced to a host cell the protein of interest should be purified from the proteins of the host cell right therefore to make the purification process easy the cloned gene should have a tag and this tag could be histidine h i s histidine uh, so this tag could be his tag or any other marker peptide and this tag helps to isolate our protein of interest from rest so this is all about today's lecture i hope you liked the lecture thank you for watching my video